3. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Ray Chu Live. Thank you for joining me this evening. This is a very trying time in our world, in our lives. And there's not a corner of this earth that is not effective. I've seen a lot of good people doing great things to help others. So I felt it in my spirit to do something. One person, one community at a time. So we've created this virtual space to celebrate music and help out of work musicians who are directly affected by COVID-19. So today's show will feature our invited, our invited uh, thought leaders, Soledad O'Brien and my guest artist, George Clinton. I'm a working musician and I've done every job there is from playing keys at a bar mitzvah to serving as music director on wonderful network television. So I know the plight of gig musicians and how important it is to keep booking gigs and staying self-employed. But right now there are none. There are no club dates, no weddings, no live shows, no tours. So if you've ever been to a live jazz club or attended a concert of your favorite artist and love to hear a party band or at your cousin's wedding, well, now's your chance and opportunity to help support the people who make the music. You can talk, you can, well, you can do many things, but you can uh, join us in the effort to text and give. We have a lot of great support from uh, the Musicians Union who helped set up uh, a text to give program. And so um, we're really excited to get this show started today. And I'm not going to waste any time. I really want to bring in my first guest. And she's a thought leader, but she's a, a wonderful uh, activist, a philanthropist, a journalist, and, and, and an author. And most of all, she's a good friend. We're going to welcome, put your hands together, everybody, for Soledad O'Brien. Hey. Hey, hi. Hey, Soledad. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? All right. So where are you at? In my living room. That's why I don't have to wear a mask because I have not really left the house very much except to, you know, run some errands and do some stuff. Um, but a little bit like 90 minutes outside of New York City um, and basically running our, you know, I run a production company, um, shooting our show from here, my house, and uh, doing a podcast from my house and uh, running our company from uh, my living room, which is just kind of weird. But I guess like everybody else, right, shelter in place and try to get through this best we can. I hope you and your family are doing well through this. Thank God. Yes. Thank God. And same to you. I, I hope everybody's, you know, healthy and it's a stressful time, right? I mean, it's really hard and I, I love what you're doing. I think it's so important to really remember and support musicians because I think it's easy to forget people who, who don't, who aren't in front of us and who don't have gigs. So we sort of, you know, unlike grocery store workers and frontline workers who are incredible, there's so many people whose jobs have just dried up and sources of income have dried up. So I think it's an amazing thing that you're raising funds for them. Yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, and I'd like to also congratulate you on your foundation, the Powerful Foundation that you're thank doing. You. Uh, that, to help uh, girls get through college, right? Yeah, crazy times, right? I mean, like all the other students, when their college shut down, for many of our young women, they didn't necessarily have the resources or the ability to just move back home and crash with their parents. In many cases, they were food insecure. So like everybody else, we kind of had to shift our thinking about how we support our young women who were then doing online classes uh, and also some of them, you know, trying to graduate without being able to actually walk and graduate. So it's been a little bit of a crazy time, but they've handled it really, really well. We're very proud of them. And, and we have always appreciated your support and your family's support for our foundation. So thank you. Great, great. You know, I, somebody asked me a question when, uh, in passing and, and while, I, I want to acknowledge that, the, that everybody is hurting and feeling the effects of this whole new world. And one of the questions was, well, well why is music so important? Why, what, is, what is so important about that? that? Everybody thinks of it like as a kind of a side thing. And, well, it may, well yeah, take it, maybe. But music is, is specifically the the song of the universe, the prime element of music is rhythm. 
your heart beats to a rhythm. It's, it's literally embedded in you. This is something that we all have. It's in our souls. It's in our systems. You can go and relate to the first time you heard that great song. You can relate to every, every article in your history, of your personal history, including Happy Birthday. Who knew that was written by two wonderful ladies that actually wrote that song? So music is important, and it's, it's, not, it's not a side thing. And so today's appeal is that we help those people who make the music. And uh, so we would like everybody to text music to 235-246. Again, it's music 235-246. And I'm so glad that you're here because I remember the first time we, we met and it was, uh, it, was, it, was, uh, it was probably about six in the morning on the flight and, and, and usually, and, and it's probably the same for you, usually, I don't like, I usually don't talk to many people. Doing it, right? I just like, hey, how you doing? I don't even say it. I just put my headphones on and go to sleep. But when I saw you, I was like, oh, I just wanted to say something really quick. Like, hey, hey, how you doing? Respect your work. And we were, we were on your way to that day. I'm trying to remember. You know, I live on airplanes. It's been so weird now because I usually travel 150 200 days a year. And so I don't remember because I was always on a plane, always on a plane. So I don't, maybe, and it must've been like a, maybe an LA, New York, LA thing. Um, because we ended up chatting the whole time. We did. We talked the whole, wow. <laughs> and then and I, I, I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh, did I just annoy that guy? Like, you know how you, everyone hates to be talking to people on planes. No, that, that was great. Oh, wow. And yeah. And it started a great friendship. And so with that, I'm so glad that you're here today. So I also want to open up this this dialogue and and make it a uh, make you know bring in our first guest. Uh, listen, and and everybody, you know who he is. He's uh, you're in for a funky ride. Uh, our first guest, uh, the funk master himself, and I'm and I'll I'll give all the his information after he gets in. Everybody, welcome in George Clinton. Come on, George Clinton. What up, y'all? How y'all doing up in there? Oh, there he is. Oh. How you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm here chilling, chilling. Got here. I'm in the studio, so I got my mask with me. So um, I'm cool. I'm glad you called me, man. I'm glad I'd be a part of this. You know, I got a lot of musicians in the band, and um, they all don't know what to do right now. So I'm glad we can chat about something that will help them figure out how to get paid to do something, create some new ways to make some money around here. Yes, yes. Well, you know what? Uh, the wonderful thing is about what we set up is that we had the, the help of the American Federation of Musicians and the AFL-CIO who set up a portal to help specifically these gig musicians. So the money that they that is donated today and over the course of the next four weeks will go directly to these musicians. So there'll, there'll be information about how they can apply okay. and, you know, to make sure that the, the money goes to, uh, for the purposes intended. But we're, we're real excited about doing that. And I'm glad you both are here. Thank you again. I'm glad to be here. Glad to be here. George, can I ask you a question? Cause Please. You've been around a minute. I and like to run my mouth. Like the wisdom in the big oh, come on. We're at a, a crazy time. And I'm so curious. And, and you've had a, a career and a life that's seen it all over a, a, a bunch of years. How do you advise people about how to feel? Because I know a lot of you know journalists too struggling. And I, you know, and I I wonder what you tell them about, you know, should they be hopeful? Should they be oh, freaked out? Should they be always, always that, but do the best you can and funk it. It's getting ready to be a paradigm shift right along and through here that all we can do is hope to be positive and reach for litness. We're getting ready to change the whole perspective on what we do on this planet. It's not going to be the same no more, but it's always going to be the good side of it. I always like to think whatever it's doing, it's, it's doing it for the better of it and start from there and just dance your way through it. 
Well, that's true. Because even in uh, good times and bad times, people got to dance and party. Oh, and, man. And, and so that, that led me to a moment where I, I was like, oh, man, what could we come up with? And so uh, I want to I want to share with everybody that we we I sent George an idea and he had an idea. We came together. And we collaborated with something. And it's it was about it was about really trying to feel the moment of the you know the the really the beat of what's happening out. So I didn't know that actually that the pandemic had a a beat to it until George said, "Yeah, there's a beat to it." How'd you how'd you come up with that, George? Oh man, there's a rhythm to everything. There's a frequency. To everything, the frequency is shifting right now. So what we come up with right now, I call it um, quantine age of music. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, you go, back, you go back to whatever it takes to be funky. So when you sent that, that was so funky to hear that. And I knew what you was going to do. I knew we would be situated like we are right now. And everybody's playing it at the same time. Because I did this a couple of weeks ago with somebody else. But it wasn't funky like this, okay. You know, but it's a it's for the same cause. And you know what? It, it it felt like I thought you said something like pandemic funk. So you know what? I have to get into character. Uh, <laughs> and so, Dad, I know you're going to join us. I got to put on some pandemic funk oh, yeah. wear. And, oh yeah, everybody oh, got yeah. sunglasses right. on now. Oh, so oh yeah, definitely. So <laughs> I will say, everybody, do not attempt to adjust your computer screen. There's nothing wrong. We've taken control. Let's to bring you this. Fans of cosmic phenomena, prepare yourself for the elevation of vibration. The raising of the frequency. Vibrating at a higher level. Raise your phone. The funk is coming. The funk is coming. Fans of cosmic phenomena, prepare yourself for the elevation of vibration. The funk is coming. The funk is coming. A tail ain't nothing but a long booty, and a booty ain't nothing but a butt. The funk is coming. The funk is coming. The raising of the frequencies, vibrating at a higher level. Did it put the knock down? See, we got our funky tears in. Oh. <laughs> we gonna hey, George, make this, we George, gonna make this internet funky. <laughs> so we got to put that out. Hey, let's do that. Oh yeah, that's music for quant teenagers. <laughs> and you know what? And, and and some of the musicians that were on that uh, video, uh, Artie Reynolds and uh, C.J. Emmons. I want to thank them. And of course, on guitar, it was the great. Vernon Reed. Yeah. Vernon Reed from Living Color. As a matter of fact, we're going to ask Vernon Reed to join us. Come on hey, in, yo. Vernon. Hey, dude. Up, people? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Uh, hey, man, I can smell your finger on that. On look, that look, at him, man. look at him, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, broadcasting from the from the Dharma Lab here in Shaolin. And I uh, want to shout out to my brothers from Living Color. And I uh, want to shout out to the Fishbone Soldiers, 24-7 Spies. Oh, yeah. The band, the Bad Brains, the Anthrax crew, the Public Enemy crew, the 1865 crew, Black Rock Coalition, Afro Punk, and all them peoples. 
Mama Funk, uh, Miss Nona Hendrix, you know, and uh, all these wonderful musicians who are very, that I'm very close to. Um, and this was special for me to do this because as I said before, the first record I bought with my own money was uh, Cosmic Slop. And the first concert I ever went to with my friend Lester Jack was uh, Funkadella War on Rare Earth at, the, at Madison Square Garden. Oh, you tamed it. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Diapers and mohawks and all of that. Oh, we've been, we've been, doing, it, we've been doing it together for a long time. You oh, know. yeah, man. You know. So, I'm, so yeah, Vernon, why, why don't you give us and give the, the viewers an, an opportunity to, to feel what it's like for the musicians and some of the people that you know who have, who, who have you know, they, they go from gig to gig and they go from, they'll do a great tour and they'll come mm -hmm. off the tour and after the tour is over, they, they have to knit together. And that's, that was uh, one of your phrases, they have to knit together the fabric of making a living. But during this time, it's nothing. So it's, maybe you can share and enlighten the viewers. Well, it's, it's, it's kind of funny because as a working musician and producer and composer, I've, I've done a lot of different jobs. You know, I've done session work, obviously. I've done live tours. And I, I was uh, working on music for a documentary film, and all of that came to a stop. But on top of that, we're also dealing with um, losing so many wonderful musicians. That's that's another part of it. Like we we lost uh, Mr. Wallace Roney, the great trumpeter. We lost Mr. Ellis Marcellus, the patriarch of the Marcellus clan. You know, we lost Bucky Pizzarelli, he's a legend. You know, we lost Hal Wilner, great producer. You know, and so on and so forth. And um, today, you know, one of my good friends posted on Facebook that he lost his best friend. And I, I have talked to people that have uh, artists and just regular folks that have gone through uh, COVID-19. It's not a game. It's not a game. When you hear talk about people saying that they, they, um, they could, they were so weak, they couldn't get out of bed. They couldn't lift a spoon. You know, um, people were frightened. That, uh, you know, one person I communicated with today, they would take it to the ER and, you know, they, they said, they thanked the doctor. He, thank the doctor for saving his life because he was that close. I think they put him on a ventilator. So it's, it's, it's very real. So we're dealing with the situation with our income and our livelihoods, but we're also dealing with the health issues and we're dealing with it affecting friends and colleagues and family members. Yeah, that, that is, well, I know it firsthand and it, it's uh, really something that I want to make sure that, that again, I feel the passion for and I want, those who are watching to, to, to feel me as well. And if you can feel me, know that this is from the heart. I need you to text music to 235-246. Oh, this is from the heart. We need you. I need you to stand with me and stand with George, Soledad, and of course my brother Vernon Reed here. And you know, we're really, you know, we're really here to to, to, to bring you the spirit of what we're doing. So thank you very much. Uh, as a matter of fact, so Vernon, I know uh, I want you to hang around and you know we want to talk some more with uh, George and Soledad. Don't go nowhere. I know George, we, we, I wanted to get back to you on, on some of the stuff that you're doing. And uh, I know that you've been working with the, your family on some projects. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Well, the family been part of the group for a few years now. There's, you know, we call P Funk All Stars, but they've grown up. My grandkids, my kids, I got a big family, and their friends here in Tallahassee, Florida. They've been with us about four years now. I've been grooming them for this. They was getting ready to set the world on fire, you know. But everybody gonna have to stop for a minute and pray for all this going on. Like I say, and recalibrate and figure out what the next move is, but. They got some product that we just did before this shut down. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, and we getting ready to release it right now. Well, you know what? Let's let's hear a little bit about it. Yeah, uh, I gave you, yeah. Let's do this one. Okay. Three G P. Quickie. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a quickie. Quickie. <laughs> Yeah. I got it, I got it. Uh, 
she wanna was a quickie She wanna be your man. Okay, wow. So that was the the trap version of your 1983 hip quickie. quickie yeah. Okay. My mom, yeah. The, the one that followed up Tommy Dog. Okay. Well, in, in case our viewers, uh, some of them might be a little confused or frightening with about the messaging with that. The messaging is not what you think. The messaging was they, they wanted to, to quickly text music to 235. Two four six. That's that's what quickie means. Quickly text music two three five. Yeah, do it quick. All makes two, sense. Two four six. Yeah. <laughs> Lickety split. Uh, now, Soledad, as as a journalist, uh, I I know that you know. Have you have you done uh, interviews with? George before or musicians like that that, that we have. have. I believe George, we did an interview on the Today Show. Oh yeah. Okay. Sounds like we got a little bit of interruption there with the feet. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep uh we'll keep keep it moving until we get the uh, soul dad back. We lost it. Do we still have you, George? Yeah, I'm still here. Are you still there? Okay, we'll get I'm Soledad here. back. And I want yeah. her to tell her uh, her wonderful story about the first time she encountered you. Uh, hey, listen, everybody. It, this is you know, the, the one of the main things that we are here is that we want to make sure that I, I'm able to motivate and inspire yeah, you. Yes. We got Soledad I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I didn't even do anything. I don't okay. know. All yeah, right. so it must have been... You know, our mutual friend Kim Bondi um, did this booking because she's obsessed with George Clinton. And she said, uh, we're going to put him on the Today Show. And, <laughs> and to make the Today Show extremely funky was awesome because it was kind of a straight lace kind of show, <laughs> pretty straightforward. And it was amazing. And we had a great time. And and also, not only was it a great, you know, the concerts run, what, four and a half minutes, but that was great. But also just having you there and on the set and with the crew. And, you know, you've always been such a great and gracious and fun person to everyone, you know, and I always truly judge people by how they are to the crew and how they are when the cameras aren't rolling and how they, and it was just a, it was a home run. So we loved it. It was a great, it was a great, great way to see you in concert, but right in person, like four feet away. I'm a ham. So I'd be like that. <laughs> yeah, We like that. That was good. Thank That's good. You. Thank you. And you know what? When the, for the viewers who've never actually been to a George concert, you're in for a three-hour ride. Now, I don't know if you can do that anymore, George, or if you even <laughs> should do that. Three hours of funk, and it, uh, he wears it. He wears it out, and he's still doing it at you know at this stage of his career. Well, Are you still doing do that, it. George? I want to do it a couple of more times. A couple of more times. I tried to retire last year, but. Uh, I didn't quite have it. I didn't quite get off. So I got to go at least one more year. Okay, at least one more year. Well, at I know you got some great things in store. Well, I got, I got the uh, 3GP. They really ready to take P-Funk to the next level. Okay. The All mothership right. is gassed up and ready to leave the planet. Like Ooh. I told you, 
we're reaching for litmus. All right, all right. Hey, I know that we have, uh, as a matter of fact, I want to give everybody an update, and I'm going to kind of do this like a telethon. By the way, yeah, we've already been wonderfully effective in, in our efforts. Uh, I understand there's some, been some money, a substantial amount that's already been given to the cause. Uh, we've got a lot of wonderful people and a lot of great artists who are coming up. And, and some, uh, as a matter of fact, our friend Dion Work, we give you a shout out to you. I know you're watching and you, give us a, you gave us a little text there. So, hey, shout out to Dion. And also we're going to uh, tease the, your, your upcoming show with us. We're going to have some fun. Uh, I'm just really looking forward. I'm excited about, you know, the weeks to come, but I'm also excited again about our mission. That's, that's why I'm here. You know, I'm, I'm learning how to do uh, this television host thing. So that is being, you're going to give me some, give me some tips after this. (laughs) You're not learning. You're done. You've done it. I'm really, I'm really learning how to be cool. (laughs) Yeah. I love that you're putting this issue front and center and reminding people that many people are not back to work and many people have had their gigs dry up and it's a scary time. It's a scary time for a lot of folks. So I, I really do love and appreciate that you're doing that. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, I I want to say thank you to both of you. And of course, Vernon Reed uh, for joining us. We, my, my whole approach is I wanted to keep this kind of, you know, short and to the punch and really make sure we got our messaging out again. I want to get, ask everybody to text music, Two three five two four six, and you know let's really get the effort out. And uh, I want to say it's been it's been fun hanging out with you both. Thank you for supporting this important Thanks. cause. Yeah, man. I think Thank we can you. all agree that Glad our days. To be a part and, of it. They, I think we can all agree that our days in quarantine would be a lot different without music. Ugh. So oh, let's yeah. continue. Oh, yeah. I want to urge everybody to continue to give through this week. No amount is too small. No amount is too big, of course. Text <laughs> music, 235-246. Thanks to Ray Hare, Dave Pomeroy, Tino Gagliari, Rose Ryan, and the AF of M, <clears throat> excuse me, and the AFL-CIO for your partnership in making sure funds get directly in the hands of the out-of-work musicians that we're looking to support during this time. If you're a musician and you could use some help right now, please email musiciansrelief at afm.org. This is for you. I got to thank my business partner and wife, Vivian Scott Chu, along with her co-executive producer, Rodney Scott, and the rest of my team. Thanks again, George, Soledad, and Vernon for hanging out with us tonight. And a huge thank you to our first responders and our essential workers who are working to treat those affected by the virus. Let's give them a round of applause. All right, and everybody, I want you to come back next week where I'll be joined by my very special guest, Chick Corea and Marcus Miller and Iyala Van Zandt. So until then, stay healthy, stay inside, keep music in your heart, and I love you. Love you back. Love you back, yeah.